Pandit of God in Islam to a Muslim, the best reply he can give you is to quote you, quote you for a class. Chapter number 112. What to want to quote it says, Kul hu Allah ahad. Say it Allah ahad only. Allah hu samad. Allah, the absolute eternity. Nazil is, malam yula. If he gets not, no, he is begotten. Malam yakul lahu kufwana. There is nothing like him. This is a four-line definition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God, given in the glorious Quran. If any person says so and so can win this God, if that candidate fits in this whole line definition, the Muslim will have no objection in accepting the candidate as God. The first is, Kul Fu Allahu Ahad. Say it Allah and only. Allahu Samad. Allah, the absolute anchor. Lam is the Lamula. If he gets not noise, he got it. Allah is the Kul Lahu Kufana. There is nothing like him. This Puray class is the touchstone of theology. Theo means God. Logic means study. Theology means study of God. Surah class is the touchstone of theology. It's the litmus test of theology. Any God you worship, if that God fits in this definition, Paul and definition of Surah class, we Muslims have got no objection in accepting the candidate as God. You know, there are many human beings who consider Bhagwan Rajnish to be God. You know Bhagwan Rajnish? So many people consider him to be God. Let's put this Bhagwan Rajnish to the test of Surah class. The first is, Kul Hu Allahu Ahad. Say it Allah and only. Was Bhagwan Rajnish one and only? Was he the only man who claimed divinity? There are hundreds and thousands of them, especially the country where I come from, India. There are thousands of men who have claimed divinity. He's not the only one. But a Rajnish Bhakt will say, no, he's unique. Okay, let's go to the second test. Allahu Sabah. Allah, the absolute eternal. Was Rajnish absolute eternal? No. When we read his biography, autobiography, we read, he says, that he was suffering from asthma, from chronic backache, from diabetes mellitus. Imagine Almighty God suffering from asthma, from chronic backache, from diabetes mellitus. The third test is, Lam Yudha Lam Yudha. If he gets not, now he's forgotten. We know Bhagwan Rajnish, he was born in Madhya Pradesh, and he had a mother and father. In 1981, he goes to America, to USA, and in the state of Oregon, he starts his village known as Rajnishpuram, and he takes thousands of Americans for a ride. Later on, the American government arrests him and puts him behind bars. And Rajnish says that the American government gave me slow poison. Imagine Almighty God being slow poison. <laughs> <laughs> and in 1985, they arrest Rajnish and they kick him out of the country. He comes back to India. And in the state of Maharashtra, he goes back to the city of Pune, and there he has his own organization known as Osho Commune. And if you go to Osho Commune today, you will find in the Samadhi, there is a stone mention. Bhagwan Rajnish, Osho, never born, never died, but visited the earth from the 11th of December, 1931, to the 19th of January, 1990. Never born, never died. <laughs> but visit the earth from the 11th of December 1931 to the 19th of January 1990. I forgot to mention on the Samadhi that he was not given visas to 21 different countries of the world. <laughs> Imagine Almighty God wants to visit the world and requires visa. And the Archbishop of Greece said, if you don't remove Rajnish right out of this country, we will burn his house and the house of his disciples. And the last step, it's so stringent that no one besides to Allah can pass. The moment you can compare Allah to anyone in this world, the moment